Yo, 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 mofos, what is up? I am Goat. How the hell are you? Oh, my God. Okay, so Monster Man went back to work, as I was hoping he would, because, you know, everybody got to make a money. Everybody, a money. Everybody got to make a money. Everybody got to make their paycheck, right? So he's been laid off and on, off and on, off and on. And so I was glad to hear that he was going to be going back to work. Now, this left me in this odd quandary, because... um. Olives has been doing a lot of uh, Fortnite and a lot of uh, Rocket League and stuff like that, just kind of doing his thing, which is fine. Um, Olives knows my stance on that. He knows, you know, gaming is gaming is gaming. Whatever game he's feeling that day is good for him, so that's good stuff. That left me in this interesting quandary, though. Operation Plague Star. Now, that's going on until September 30th. Now, obviously, by the time this video posted, it has been well done and over with. The whole point for me for Operation Plague Star has very, very simply been... It would really help if I was actually clicking the right shit. Um, has been Forma. As you can see, I've got Nidus Prime here, which he's got assist. Don't know why Nidus has got assist. I haven't even taken him on a... Maybe that's just a thing for him. Because he's already infested. Yes, I got Nidus Prime farmed. I got the Strun Prime farmed. And I got the Magnus Prime farmed. It's all three of the new weapons. Plus, I have the Ghoul Saw, obviously. He's just a mean-looking son of a bitch, isn't he? What's funny, though, is that... You see how he looks here, right? It just looks like normal... It's kind of Nidus, but shiny. You go into the helmet room, look at that. He just... Uh, this is what he looks like when you build up his mutation stacks. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I've been doing a lot. Because Plague Star has been driving me insane running public matches. I need to adjust my camera just a little. Sorry. Plague Star has absolutely been driving me fucking bonkers. Because of the public matches. Because it's like people... I love this community, first of all, just so you know. The Warframe community is actually very cool, so I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way. But some of the people running Plague Star are fucking idiots. <clears throat> it's a four-stage bounty. You go in, you collect this Thrax Toxin Canister. That's stage one. It's always in a cave. Simple. Takes one fucking person. Not the entire squad. That's been a problem. Problem number two. Um... The mixer, you can apply what's called an Eidolon Phylaxis, and it says on the other direction, right over there, about where my finger is pointing, about here on the screen, about where my cursor is, okay? Whenever you're at the mixer, it says Eidolon Phylaxis or um, Infested Catalyst, and it says zero of four. So that means you can put something in there. So it means if everybody in the squad puts one in each, both of them are full, right? One phylaxis, one catalyst, done. You can only carry 10 at a time. So it's really fucking annoying when nobody else donates. But that's the mixer. Then the drone. The drone's a thing because it's like they basically expect one person to guard it and everybody else just go do what the fuck they're going to do and that's that. It's a bit of a problem, but whatever. Uh, and then finally, the... Um, fighting off the infestation and the hemocyte boss that i swear to god makes my fucking head hurt people are either really really thorough with it or they're trash with it so yeah that's a thing now from the advice of dranka watching dranka play titania i basically borrowed to what i have available dranka's build for Titania, within reason. I'm a little lacking in a couple of spots, um, but basically a shit ton of ability strength, uh, a shit ton of ability efficiency, duration isn't a big deal, her health is kind of, you know, she's she kind of is what he is. Shields is not a big deal because of her abilities, <clears throat> but specifically her uh, Dex Pixia Prime, so basically her Exalted Pistols, um, you basically want them to shoot fast, 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 fast. And the reason that I changed the Trumna over is because I changed the build on the Trumna. And I have to tell you that even though it's a viral build, holy Jesus Christ. I wish I had Prime Shred. That's a login thing, though. So, um, and I can't find anybody that'll trade it, obviously, because it's a login daily reward thing. So, 
you only get that on the even hundred value scale and i don't think a ton of people have actually picked that over prime sure-footed and um there's another one prime fury i think but either way shred is good enough it's punch through and fire rate this fucking build holy god i don't give a shit about how crappy the reload speed is because the reload speed has gotten worse since this gun came out it used to be like 3.8 seconds i want to say and now it's five seconds it's horrible absolutely fucking atrociously horrible um and there was something else that changed with this gun but either way doesn't matter the damage doesn't look all that amazing but it's the critical chance with this gun and the just sheer amount of fucking bullets that you're throwing so yeah she's gonna have this why not so let's go run plague star let's see if i'm right and i get some knuckleheads or if i actually get some people that actually know what the fuck they're doing we're about to find out we are about to find out god help me spectacles testicle all at once and i'm not even catholic Okay, so let's go visit Kanzu. Ah, Tino. Good, good dudes. Bounties. Plague Star. One more off. Here we go. Top two. The infestation was beginning to think it would never touch us. Here. Oh, the lag. It was a thing that happened out there to us. Oh. Looks like I joined with somebody, so that's good. I'm just trying to change the ability. Oh god, it's somebody with a bunch of lag. Okay, so we're on a different server. You can go ahead and just bump yourself that way, buddy. I'm just going to do it this way. Be my guest. Boom. Okay, I'm full. Okay, so this guy's going in. Okay, so see, now we have the person with the, uh, that's got the Thrax Toxin. That's good. We're good so far, baby. Well, oh, more miserable. Kanzu is such a shit talker during this operation. Love it. Okay, so now we're just waiting on this person to come out of the cave, which is fine. I love that cool. Oh, that's right. Ghoul purge is going on right now. That's gonna be fun. Cool. Okay. So here we are at the mixer. Okay, so we see the little thing that says full axis. So it looks like we're going to do two by two. Okay. I heard the I heard the ship. Where's it at? Bye bye. Wow, the ships are really moving this time. be amazing.
Let's see, this build isn't meant to, you know, like, seem cool to just take out these ships, okay? This build is actually meant to, um, take out the boss. It's just an added bonus that you can take out the ships really quickly. Five more seconds. These guys aren't doing too bad. Okay, so now we have to go find a drone. My god, it looks like I've actually got a pretty decent crew here. Holy shit. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, I dig it so much. The problem is you have to stay within 40 or 45 meters of this drone, otherwise the damn thing is going to get goofy and it's not... It's just going to stop. Okay, so there's an infested pod right there. We'll just take those guys out. Preemptively clear this shit out. A little bit of a buff there. Now we take out Infested, and that's one thing that kills me, is that some people will literally stand here and just assume that the Hemocyte boss is going to show up. No, you actually have to kill the Infested to purge the Infested. Come on, baby! Of course, we need Infested to kill. So you get four waves of this. There we go. 25% fit percent, 75 percent, 99 percent. Get big boss hole hemocyte. And the infested purge will not begin again until you take out the fucking hemocyte boss. I personally go for the one with the scythe first because he's the biggest pain in the asshole. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Now you see how quickly that went down? Holy Jesus Christ. I have to admit, whoever's using mag? Oh, that seemed to work pretty good. See, look, kill them quick, they go down quick. <laughs> Finally get a good crew and watch, they're gonna wanna leave. Okay, piss him off. 
the night. Oh, come on. Open your fingers back up. That head's down. That head's down. Nighty night, sweet time. Oh my fucking god, I want one infested that I can steal their soul! There we go! Yes, we did. We got a reaction. Oh, see this complaining I did, and I finally get a good crew. Now you watch, these guys are gonna be like, nah, man. Just this one run. Good night. Good night. Oh, hey. Good night. I love Konzu. He's like he's like that old Jewish uncle, you know. <laughs> he just hey, I love it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, stop twitching. Okay, there's that head. That head. I'm out of bullets. And there's that head. Oh, let me get them to keep going. I just need to get to the fucking thing and make them shut up. During these dark nights. Yeah. You pay See you again, eh? No. You come back and I give you see you again, eh? Tino! Kanzu Shola! Got some heavy hitter like you needs a little snack, yeah? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. She got a squad to run, to run again. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a cave you don't get very often. We haven't had this cave. Oops. I run wild over Cetus. Then he thinks I will use poison to exterminate the infestation once its work is done. The wheels. Do 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 do. What the hell waypoint are you putting at? The boil needs to be destroyed now before it becomes unstoppable. We know Vahek. Some of these caves are an absolute fucking pain in the asshole, okay? I don't know why I am running into walls so much. It's all good. Come on, just give me the mixer, baby. I am directing you to the location of a Greenier chemical mixer. Use it to prepare the toxin. The mixer is inside that wall. We are out of the area, so use it.
See, it's finding the right level, too, because sometimes you can be too high, sometimes you can be too low. That'd be too high to collect energy, that's all right. Just flinging these bullets, baby. That was a little lag. See, it's good to stop the ships because the ships will literally drop troops most of the time directly on top of the mixer. So I found out the hard way. Or the ship. That the motherfucker will sometimes, more often than not, drop the troops. It'll like be swinging around and shit and all of a sudden just boom. Got troops dropping right on top of the mixer. So you can see the big boil. Maybe 20 seconds. I'm sure I come buzzing in like I get the fuck out of here. So they apparently don't know how to collect the canister. Okay. Oh hell yeah, this is easy. Uh, let me. My God, this bitch is literally right here. See, now that sound is... Oh. Alright, fine. I'll come over here and kill the damn Grenier. Hang out over the boil, grab some energy, get poisoned. Okay, they dropped over here. Where'd they go? So you cannot fly over the fucking boil because the boil will poison you. Come on, just send us the big pods. There we go. That's how you get it triggered. Right there. Just. Most. There we go. 
Let me know how I got 297 focus. I didn't use the gun. Hiya, big boy. Good night. Come on. It's again though, only two of us in the squad are actually donating the catalyst and the um Alexis. So that means if you can only carry 10 and only two of us are donating at a time, that means that we can only do the mission five times before we have to pull out. Hi, big boy. Dino maggots. Well, of course we did, because we're cool. Twenty minutes. Oh, hey, how are you? I didn't see you had made it all the way to me that quickly. Come on, big boy. Good night. This person using mag is actually very smart. Like. I have enjoyed watching people come in with different Warframes that I would normally not think of using for something like this. Because watching them do it actually is kind of cool. Like they're enveloping that whole goddamn creature. They get mad at that. But you just made it angry. Sorry, I have to have my ringer on, so if you guys hear my phone, sorry about your luck. A hemocyte. <sighs> plague star, oh plague star. There's mag, giant bubble of death. Dude, that flat fuck rips this big bastard up. Okay, let's see if we get lucky enough. In charge of supply distribution. If we get more than two runs, see what she has for you. And oh, you come back again soon. I Shola. I see you again, eh? To know. Got something. Heavy hitter like you needs a little snack, yeah? Come with? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, I still got three. Who do we got? We got the mag and we got the rhino. Good. The, the mag's been the one that's been the most helpful. It would never touch us here. HCRG red lighting. Okay. See, this isn't the cave I mind so much. It's the one up on top of the hill to my right. Oh, that one sucks. Oh, that's right. This is the one that has the elevator. Once its work is done, the wheels see doom in his plan. For Grenier and Ostrom alike, the boyer needs for Grenier and Ostrom alike. Before it becomes unstoppable, 
Okay, so we're just gonna go fly on through. I wish I could fly out. Truth be told, I wish that the four ability didn't make you drop your shit. But if you're carrying anything, it makes you drop it. Such a nice guy. Dead Tenno maggots. A two-bit desktop with a mind half an inch wide and a face like a rejected skin craft. I love that. Also would like you to make his life miserable. Well, more miserable. Secured. <laughs> I know this seems exciting, right? Just running the same thing over and over. Directing you to the location of a Grenier chemical mixer. Use it to prepare the toxin. The mixer is inside our vault. Clear out the area so we can use it. I got a ship killer with me. That's somebody with a sniper. Hell yeah. It's even easier. I'll take somebody with a sniper, dude, honestly. Makes it easier on me and bouncing around like a fucking idiot. is down not a cat okay so my big question is if it's not a cat what is it Yeah, truthfully, I don't like being up there shooting the ships down. Oh, they shot me. guy is kind of boring man okay Way above sea, this now way above the map. Your drone will serve as an optical delivery system. I've marked one on your map. Pack in and insert the Thrax toxin. I'll steer it. Thank you, Foxstick.
We got two titanias in here. Hell yeah. Yeah, and the other titanias got the Rubico Prime. Yeah. That would be what was taking everything out. Which I am 100% fine with. Oh no. Oh yeah, this is gonna be epic. Two titanias. Two Titanias, a Mag Prime, ripping up this Hemocyte. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the good stuff. Oh my god, this... I mean, aside from running with people that I know, this is literally probably the second good public crew I've had. And the worst part is I'm not going to be able to run with them for much longer because I don't have very much full access or... Uh, or catalyst left. Hey, buddy. Those guys are hanging out there. I'm gonna go ahead and come clear this out. Hi guys. Yeah, cause what do I? I could do two more missions. That's if these guys want to. I have not been lucky enough to get anybody to run four. <laughs> Junk rats in roar. That's funny. want to send these people a message. Can we just be Plague Star friends? We don't ever have to run another mission together if you don't ever want to, but can we please be Plague Star buddies and just run this together? We're fine with that. Okay. Oh. Good night, good night. Oh my god. I got to shoot at one head. See, my thought process with Warframe is that I used to think, oh, well, that's dumb, that's not going to work. And now I just think to myself, it's only dumb if it doesn't work. 
frigate one bad guy. Yeah. I'm a fan. Hey, buddy boy. Good night. He just tried to sit on my face, and that's not the, uh, oh baby, I feel sexy sit on my face kind of moment, but the, oh my god, I can't fucking breathe, get the fuck off me kind of sit on my face. of the hemocytes. This will truthfully probably be my last Plague Star video. I say that and then I almost always end up doing another video. Like I'm trying not to do too many of one kind of video like the Kuba videos or the sister videos. There was a lot of videos. Okay, let's see. Easier back here. During these dark nights, Cetus is grateful for your help. The cack will keep you supplied until Nora is all let's ah, you come back again, Sprite. You come back again soon. I give you Chola. Nanzu's favorite god, Swastula. Killer. Oh, fuck yeah, look at this, man. This is great. 36 fucking minutes into this? Hell yeah, dude. I've never had a group. What the hell? Okay, I have no idea why the hell that person just went down at the tower, but whatever. I just bugged into a wall. That was kind of amazing. Will you let me speed boost, please? It's like my favorite cave to go into. It's the easiest one to get in and out of. Ghoul had a fucking brain just hanging out of his head. Guess I've just never looked at the ghouls really. See, tell me this isn't stupid easy compared to some of those other ones. Well, more miserable. As if he hasn't figured it the fuck out after all these missions I've run. Okay. I know that the highest amount of Forma that I've had at once was 61, and I think I'm back down to like 42 because I've been polarizing Warframes. God. Is this dude literally gonna go... Oh, okay, he's coming.
Why would you? Hey buddy boy, gonna send me a friendly ship? I see him. You see, honestly, I don't like being on ship duty, but this location is especially not bad because they only come from one direction once you once you get going. They only come from this side. When you first start, they're coming from all over the place. There's a fucking mosquito in here. Get out of here, boy, you bother me. He sounds close. because I can't see. Oh my god, which fucking way? Of course, this will be the last run and this fucking drone's gonna go all fucking crack babied out.
I just like went in there and like fucked that little camp up. Four percent. There we go. The boy attempting to stop the toxin. Kill it to weaken the infestation further. Good night. Boy, that was some lag. The fucker's head was gone before, like, while I was trying to shoot at it. Almost there. There's only three. I thought there was four. Number two. Bring it, big boy. Flew through your nose. Dickheads, and we're gonna call this good. No, I'll show you guys what I'm doing before I get off of here. Actually, we'll go visit the cag. Gotcha.
Oh man, I don't think I'm ever gonna have a public squad like this again. One head. Two heads. Yeah, see. Three heads. in charge of supply distribution till this strangeness is at an end. See what she has for you. We're all in this one together. No! 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 Best pub squad yet. <laughs> okay. No, you don't want to be with me, buddy. Nick Operational supply view. Okay. Let's see, um, thirty nine. <laughs> Yeah, so I was up to, uh, into the low 60s. At least I can get four now. Yeah. So I've been doing some trading, too. Lots of trading, in fact. So what I've been working on was Titania, Anaros, Nyx, Nidus, And a few weapons. Weapons I'm not going to get into, but polarizing, obviously. So Titania. This is the build. Fairly close. Not perfect, but fairly close to Dranka's. Definitely, as you saw me just playing, does the job. Where he's got me absolutely smoked is the Arcane Velocity. I don't have a maxed out Arcane Velocity yet, so... His fire rate is fucking ridiculous with his Titania. I mean, just done. It's a matter of keeping track of the bullets. <laughs> okay. Um, now, Anaros. I've done my own spin. I've looked at a lot of different unkillable builds for Anaros. Now, is mine going to be as unkillable as most? Probably not. Wrong button. Probably not. But <sighs> I've run both of these. As you can see, I finally got Arcane Grace. I had to do some serious wheeling and dealing to get Arcane Grace. I've run both of these builds. Now, what I like about this, and it's not a huge necessity. <clears throat> What I like about it is the health. The health isn't amazing, but it's good. Um, 7,600 health. There's nothing insane about ability strength or ability range or ability efficiency or duration or any of that. Now, I can tell you that as far as what a lot of people do for their unkillable Nidus, which, you know what, or uh, not Nidus, uh, Anoros, is that a lot of them go for ability strength. Okay. That is what I have seen a ton of, is ability strength. Now, at the present moment, I can't quite do the build that I want to do, okay? Um, now, I can tell you that, like, Umbral Fiber maxed out definitely smokes Steel Fiber, okay? And then some. 110% armor compared to... Um, 192.5% armor. So there's a huge difference between 793 armor and 607. What this does though is this only gives you 150 energy. Okay, now that doesn't sound like a lot, but it only takes 25 energy to build up Scarab Swarm. Okay. 
and Scarab Swarm <laughs> has a healing radius, first of all. It only reduces your armor by 3%, at least with this present build. Um, causes damage to the enemies. And, uh, yeah. Couple Scarab Swarm with Negation Swarm. Negates status effects. So I'm negating status effects with that, plus adaptation. It's it's really hard to kill him that way if you can't hit him with a status effect. <laughs> and considering he has only armor and shields and his armor isn't stupendously high, it doesn't take a lot for something to cut directly to health. So there's no extra buff to stop it. You know, except for this. So it works really, really, really good. Um, now, have I gone against stupid high level yet? No. And the reason that I've been running this build and not the Umbral Fiber is because my Umbral Fiber is not maxed out yet. Um, and I'm testing this build. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up going with the Umbral Fiber and the Umbral Intensify and doing away with Flow. Truth be told, like I'm probably going to go more this direction, except I'm going to take flow completely out of it and just deal with the base 150 energy and then put umbral fiber in there and replace steel fiber. So just putting it in there and then where steel fiber is, I will probably put like Carnus Carpus, give a little bit more health, a little bit more armor. Um, but for right now, because... At the present moment, where my Umbral Fiber is right now, it's 125% armor compared to 110%. So, I mean, yes. Could I take that out? And could I take that out? And then polarize the motherfucker again? Yeah, I could. But the problem is, right now, I don't have an Umbral Forma. So this is what I got until I get my hands on a number form. So I've been keeping an eye on what the weekly payout thing is for Teshin, for the vendor, until that Umbra Fiber, uh, excuse me, until the Umbra Fiber, oh my god, the Umbra Fiber, the uh, Umbra Forma pops up, my god. <clears throat> So, but I've been working on Anaros, I've been working on Nyx, I've been working on fucking Revenant. Not fucking Revenant. I've been working on Revenant, because I keep hearing about how unkillable Revenant is. Mm -hmm. Revenant is pretty fun. Revenant is actually very fucking fun. Because he basically creates sentient armor with Mesmer skin. Become enveloped in sentient energy, reflecting and redirecting damage and stunning all those who dare attack. Stunned enemies can be enthralled at no energy cost. So basically, if they attack me, um, I can enthrall them and then cost me any energy to do so. Yeah. Reeve, uh, dash their enemies as a wall of sentient energy, leeching shields and health from all, or from any encountered, enhanced for thralls. And basically just covering myself in sentient energy. He gets really fucking hard to kill like this, I'm gonna be honest, it's actually kinda fucking cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I've been dealing with Revenant. Uh, Nidus, I believe. I believe. Yes. Pretty sure I was. Yes. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I only did one form of so far. Now, I haven't gone crazy with Nidus, but one thing with Nidus is ability, strength, and um, range. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I remember correctly, this may be one I'm still working on. Yeah, ability, strength, and range. Yes. 
Duration kind of is what it is. Duration is not a bad thing to have because that makes your uh, fourth ability work better. Uh, that makes your latching ability, your number three ability work better. Oh, excuse me, but ability strength and rage. Oh, God almighty. Mm. Now, the one thing I would like to do is I've been on this massive debate about flow, okay? Because I could make everything cost so much less with this. I really could. I could make everything cost so much less. If I put, like, streamline here, and then, let's see here. Instead of having auger reach, excuse me, not auger reach, instead of having auger secrets, I could have, <clears throat> excuse me, hunter adrenaline. I could do that. I'm in this debate though. I don't know. Still, still debating because technically I don't need power drift. Power drift is just something to help build ability strength so 190 198% ability strength 175% range 155% duration but I've got 531 energy it means I don't need like hunter adrenaline is good because basically any hit that you take to health gets converted into energy so that means I don't have to do energizing dash I don't have to do energizing drops um, I don't have to have arcane energize on here to help with that any of that shit But I've, I've been running with this build, which has not been terrible at all. And this is Nidus Prime, obviously. Um, and as you can see, it's the only build I've got. So this is the build that I've been working with. This is first polarization, first test thus far. The test has been very good with it. It's not amazing because I could change it and streamline it and make it a little bit better. But for me personally, at least for right now, the way I'm playing him, I like it. I like it. Um, Nyx. That's right, Nyx. Now, Nyx is cool because Nyx, you can basically turn everybody squishy. Okay. Even bosses, you can turn them squishy as shit. Yeah. This build right here. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly probably going to put one more form on here. I really am. I'm probably going to put one more form on here because I want her ability strength up. I do. But her psychic bolts, <laughs> it's awesome. A cluster of force bolts at enemies using telekinesis to adjust flight paths and seek out nearby enemy targets hits strip some enemy defenses. This shit literally strips their fucking armor, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but it strips their armor you gotta be the, from what I've seen thus far you've gotta have at least 125% which is why I'm probably gonna do one more polarization because I don't need umbral intensify I just need like a normal run of the mill intensify okay is it 130% testing like this build oh yeah oh yeah but you don't need redirection and you don't need um <clears throat> excuse me you don't need redirection and you don't need um vitality those are literally on there while i was doing the polarization it's just because she gets ridiculously squishy while you're trying to rank her but i've got arcane grace i've got arcane energize once i do intensify that's going to give me six points to work with so i may drop something up in the excel slot well on the other build i've already got something in the excel slot i've got cunning drift which ability range that's really why that's in there so just saying but yeah and then quick thinking because she's low on health if i get blasted just like i did with saren at least i can get the fuck away and stay alive but yeah like like revenant i can basically not enthrall but mind control my own little mini army to help protect me while i'm healing myself up so just saying so i've been busy since I've had so many public match issues, I have been very, very fucking busy. Mm -hmm. So, on that note, we're well over an hour at this point. So, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching. As always, catch you in the next one.